Hello students, in this video, I'm gonna be going through the instructions of how to create your Cold War interactive timeline. You might remember earlier in the school year, we created a timeline just like this. So hopefully as we're going through this, some of this is going to seem familiar to you. For this assignment, you're gonna be working individually to create an interactive timeline using a program known as Satori. This is the same program that we used before. What you need to do is click on the link for Satori and use the sign-up code that's listed here. Now, since I already have an account, I'm just going to go ahead and log in so that you could see what that looks like. I'm going to log in with my Office 365 account because that is what our school account is associated with. Once I do that, it's going to bring up my Satori account. And here I could create a brand new story. Let's go back to the instructions so we know exactly what we need to do when creating our timeline. Number one, it says you are tasked with creating a timeline information to address the following question. To what extent did the United States win the Cold War or did the Soviet Union lose it? Now you might be thinking that sounds exactly the same, but as you dive into your research, you're gonna see that it's not quite the same. Let's go to number two. Your presentation should demonstrate your knowledge and analysis of a variety of political, economic, and social factors that drove the conflict from the end of World War II and continuing to 1991. Your presentation must include 20 of the following issues, events, or ideas. So listed below, you're gonna see a long list of different terms associated with the Cold War and the United States involvement. From this list, you're gonna select 20 to do a little more research on and to include in your timeline. For each, you must include dates and descriptions. Remember though in your descriptions to point back to the essential question, which was, to what extent did the United States win the Cold War or did the Soviet Union lose it? All descriptions must be in your own words though. Remember plagiarized work will result in a zero on this assignment. Let's look below. Your timeline must also include at least two of each of the following. So this is gonna be how you present your terms in the timeline. So it's an interactive timeline. It's not just gonna have dates, information, dates, information. It's going to be interactive. You're gonna include videos, images, did you know, text boxes, and quiz questions. Let's go back to our timeline so I can show you exactly what that looks like. When you go to start your timeline, let's start with a blank slate. Once you do that, it's gonna open a page that looks like this. There you can insert your title, which I would call Cold War Timeline. You can give it a heading, which I would include there, my essential question that we talked about. And then you can start adding your dates to the timeline. To do this, you just hit the plus key. Now you'll see a lot of different options. Let's go back to the instructions again. It says you need two of each of the following, videos, images, did you knows, text boxes, and quiz questions. All of those are provided here for you. So you click one, let's say you wanna do an image, you add an image, you give it a description and date, and then you are done with your first entry in your timeline. Third part, works cited. You must include a works cited for all pictures, videos, and content that are in your timeline. The works cited will be placed at the bottom of the timeline. Works cited must have proper MLA format. TK databases like ABC Clio, Britannica, Original Sources, ImageQuest, and Gale must be utilized. All passwords are provided on the bottom of my Moodle page, so don't forget to go there when you are creating this timeline. And then finally, here's the rubric that is included for you so you know exactly how you're going to be graded when I'm looking at your timeline. Well, hopefully that answered all your questions, but if you still have some questions about how to create this timeline, please feel free to reach out to me either by email or remind, and I'll be here to walk you through that process.